Okay, we have something here for y'all today, man. I am going to look at this. I seen this the other day, but I wanted to sit back and take a better look at the situation. Apparently, New York has a congestion problem in uh, Manhattan like nobody knew. But they're about to start charging for it. Let's see what they think people want to pay after they're already going freaking broke. Let's let's see what what that is. Let's, let's see their reasoning behind just charging. And it may be they may have a good reason. Maybe they may have a good reason. So let's just let's just without further ado, get into it. Walk the streets of Manhattan and you may soon see hundreds of new cameras covering every lane headed downtown. They're charging a new toll on congestion. We are going to be the very first state in the nation, the very first city in America to have a congestion. Does she not just look rich and snobbish to you? She just looks like I'm going to call the cops on you. And to me, that's what my that's what I think when I look at her. I look at her as a classist jerk, but I don't know her. But that's just me being judgmental, uh, I guess. Pricing plan. The new toll covers much of Lower Manhattan. Entering this zone in a car could cost up to $23 a day. Just entering the zone. That's it. Just coming in there. It's going to be an example for cities all over the country to rethink how they use their street space. But a plan of this scale is coming to your city. So pay attention. Scale will affect millions of people every day. Not everyone is a fan. Most people are only focused on the fact that they are going to have to pay $23 to get into Manhattan. The pocketbook issues always take priority over the environmental issues or anything else that's related to the problem. The MTA, we use... Why do they always talk about the environment like any of these people care about the environment? If we cared about the environment... You know, we would have freaking bullet trains and stuff in America and all that stuff. Our cities wouldn't be be set up for cars if we cared about the environment. They would shut that down. That that have, that have never been. We would have a bullet train to crisscross America. We would have. We wouldn't be relying on planes all the time to get across America. That would just be for international. There's so many things we would do if we cared about the environment. There's so many things we would do its share of project revenues to secure $15 billion in financing for system maintenance and capital investment. You know, the public transit system that millions of New Yorkers rely on every single day has been disinvested in almost from day one. Many parts of the system have suffered basically a century of deferred maintenance. How can a system suffer a century of deferred maintenance when Wall Street has a century of unprecedented profits? Why? Why would that happen? That makes that makes no, you, Wall Street has been getting money for a century, more than a century. But I'm saying they've been it's the dot com, but all this money has been made in Manhattan. How could it get go a century in disrepair? That's because these people believe that you're supposed to pay for it. The working person is supposed to pay for it, so they tax you. And those dudes have all those type of ways of getting out of being taxed. And then when they take your tax money, they don't spend it on what they're supposed to spend it on. You know, over the last 70 years, the federal government focusing almost exclusively on investing in our roads, infrastructure, the interstate highway system. We're not going to undo 70 years of policy. Can higher tolls for drivers fix traffic in Manhattan? No. And will they make New York even less affordable? Yes. Manhattan's new toll zone covers all of the routes into the central business district. Some routes into the area already get tolled. The fees can be over $14 per crossing. Others are free until the program begins in the spring of 2024. And so that discourages people from really driving out of their way for, for the cheapest route. And right now, um, tons of people do that. Not only does it discourage people, you trying to find a way to get those people who get to duck the cheaper route. You're trying to box them in and make them pay. But the truth is, if you can't afford $23, you don't have no business being in our Manhattan. That's pretty much what it is. And every person who works down there, you're, 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 adding, you're levying a toll on them. 
The lower the person who works down there, you're just taking some of their profit pretty much. Oh, these people are making record money. Let's take some of their money. Come on, man. That that freaking George Washington Bridge, when I drive over that as a trucker, it charges me a hundred something dollars for one just one truck. Imagine how many trucks pass that bridge every day. It's insanity. And if this thing is making a million, two million dollars a day, why the heck y'all stuff is in disrepair? I just, I don't understand stuff like this, man. It's just, it's, I feel like it's a load of BS and you're just supposed to swallow it. The final price of the fee isn't set yet, but the city is working within a range. The range that is being considered is between nine and $23. If it's $23, it just means there's lots of exemptions. I mean, you gotta put something into the system to get something back. Everything is increased in New York, but the pay. So people are struggling trying it always a simple brother to tell you the truth. Everything's increased but the pay. Why is the pay not increased if everybody's taking in more money? Oh, it's inflation. You don't understand the numbers. The numbers are not that complicated. They just want to put you in your place. I don't know. Whenever something is complicated, I've learned in this life. Whenever something is complicated, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, bro. It's bullshit. They don't want it that way. That's why. That's a simple thought process behind it. They don't want it that way. Don't raise their, no, no, don't raise it. It's complicated. How is it complicated when the people at the top are getting 300, getting 20, 10, 6, 7, 8 million dollars? Get out of here, bro. Trying to figure out where Honestly. money's coming from. If you're a resident uh, of the CBD and you make under $60,000 a year, you'll get a subsidy. People with disabilities won't pay. You know, there's a there's an adjustment, you know, taking a look at what really is happening in the city today. The MTA received thousands of requests for exemptions from the toll, including from artists, students, civil servants, NYPD and trade unions. There's no guarantee these requests will be granted. If you're a low income driver and you're you're on the outer fr you're on the outer fringes of the outer boroughs, how do you get to the city? <laughs> how do you get to the city, bro? It's simple. Don't come. We don't want you here. And we already ruined your life and your future. And we know you need money because we've taken your money. We, I mean them. We've taken your money, so we know you can't afford it. So this could just should clean up our streets where the people we care about live. That's why when I watch these dystopian movies and I play these dystopian games and you see the big gate, man, they're right on point with that. They don't want you around. It's not a color thing. It's a class thing. So you're not going to drive anymore. You're going to put another perhaps two hours on that commute. It's not popular to tax ourselves. No shit. When there are many layers of decision making in order to tax ourselves, that's many layers of opportunity for someone to say, hey, no, let's not do this. The money raised from this zone may bring billions of new dollars worth of investment into an aging MTA system. It's a massive system that has been underinvested for, for decades. It's a very old system, in some cases over 100 years old. And so it really requires a lot of investment just to keep what we have operating. But y'all have known that for 100 years. Why all of a sudden thing now that you need me to help you do this? Honestly, why do I have to help you with this? No, y'all made billions and trillions on Wall Street. Why don't you tax them to fix it? Why are you taxing me, man? I ain't got no money. I'm just trying to make it up to the, you know what I'm saying, the spit dot. I'm just trying to get to uh, the, the post office down here to do my shift and get back home to Bertha. That's a wrap. I'm a regular working person down here. How can you have job? This is what I don't understand about. I'm, I'm going to rant real quick. This is what I don't understand about fancy dancy areas with these fancy dancy people. This is what I don't understand about them. But you want your waitress to go to you come down from whatever you're in your citadel of awesomeness in, in Manhattan. You come down here and you want your waitress to give you your scone and your Turkish espresso, right? Yeah. How's she going to live? You don't want trash on the street. How's the trash man truck man getting by? How's the street sweeper getting by? If you make everything crazy expensive. It's, it's, it's just, I don't get it.
That's how I know they want the robots, man. I, I digress, honestly. 80% of the cash raised from this toll goes toward the city's subways and buses. Signals is actually one of the biggest investments we can make to ensure that we can run more trains uh, more quickly. 10% goes to the Long Island Railroad and the final 10% to the Metro North. I think we've been very thoughtful about where those investments will occur. MTA is building. Look at this, honestly, look at this. Look how clean that looks. That don't look in disrepair. Well, that helps them bring in more money. What you need more money for if you can't sustain your situation you got? Who's going to keep this in repair? You can't maintain the, the spots you got. Why you open new ones? Man, it's a racket. Four new Metro North stations in the Bronx that will allow people to access Metro North more easily. It's going to save people tons of time. New York has the most riders and the slowest buses, and it's a huge shame. You know, I'm certified to drive coach buses and um, buses that articulate in the middle through the state of, uh, De of, I said Denver, of Colorado. And let me tell you, they don't pay enough for that. It's also how I caught COVID. I digress. Customers say they would be encouraged to ride more often if wait times improved and if there were fewer people behaving erratically on trains, according to an MTA survey. Lower class people and probably people with mental health as well. Our customers are saying we want faster service, we want more reliable service. You know, we have signals that were installed literally in the 1950s that are still sort of, you know, working, thank goodness, but that won't be forever. It requires investment. Still, the new toll doesn't cover all of the MTA's needs. Officials say the system needs about $54 billion for new capital. You can go to one financial institution down there, they can cover that whole note. They can cover that whole note. They can cover that whole note, bro. Oh my God, but that's not capitalism. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. They should. That's not capitalism. That's something else. Then what the heck is bailing out these banks? Capital assets. That includes track upgrades, repairs to elevated structures, and replacing power equipment. Revenues from the toll will also be put towards cleaner transit. And with the largest bus fleet in America, that's a big deal. We're also piloting hydrogen. Uh, so we have a couple of buses that will be powered by hydrogen uh, that'll be on property in 2025. The MTA is using the funds from congestion pricing to improve its bus network. Its hydrogen bus pilot will be small, with just two buses beginning by the end of 2024. The agency has big goals, though. It wants to make its entire bus fleet emissions free by 2040. Why do y'all care about emissions if you can't keep the freaking rails together? I just don't understand it. How did that become a mandate when we're falling apart? This is why I don't, honestly, that's why I can't live in, in, in any place like this. I can't live in no place that is super congested like that because it's just, it's stupid because it's a lie and you're supposed to swallow said lie. And I just can't do that. I'm not interested. So my thing is let it, the Chinese have a saying, the young Chinese have a saying about the current system, let it rot. Let it fall apart. That's what it needs. It, 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 th this particular rail system needs a catastrophic something to make them pass the law to take care of it. Y'all are not taking care of it. Y'all are just, 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 people are just cashing in on the concept and no one's taking care of it, bro. This is what I'm saying, man. This is, I don't even need to see anything else, man. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Let's just let's just call it what it is. It's bullshit, bro. You know what you need to do. Tax the people sitting above the rail system in those citadels of financial power. Tax each one of them 10 billion. You have more than 10 down there. Tax each one 5 billion. Give them some kind of freaky deaky return on their money or something like y'all do. You know, white person that joint. And get it done. Chingle bomb manos. Be that quick. But they're not gonna do that, dude. They're not gonna do it, man. So they what they do? They come up with a tax that hurt the poor people. You know the people are just gonna stop coming, right? They're just gonna stop coming. 
They're going to stop coming, dude. They're going to stop coming. And all the people who go down there that has to come down there, like the limo drivers and all that type of stuff, and the taxi drivers, you know, they're going to get hurt by it, unless they get an exemption, but they're going to get hurt. So now they don't want to take fares to Manhattan, or they're going to double their prices to go to Manhattan. So it all just trickles down, does it take trickle down economics, to the person that can't afford it, bro. And they know that. Because their mandate is to, we shouldn't have to pay for anything. It's the same serfdom oligarch system that's everywhere else. It just has nicer wording. It's bullshit. They can wipe that thing out with New York can wipe that out with one side of the paper and the whole thing will be fixed and offering jobs to people who need to fix it. But I digress. Listen, I, I, I just, these type of things, they get me going and I can't do the whole video. I just feel like you can watch it if you want to. The name of it's right there. Chicken liver my nose. I'm done. I don't want nothing to do with it. They're a lie. They're stealing money, period.